Fair play to Darius taking the fight at short notice. But Paul Crossley is a very, very talented fighter. He's a very knowledgeable man about Muay Thai and he'll be using all those skills and knowledge to develop his uh, performance in the ring tonight to try and end this, uh, end this run from Darius of, of trying to secure a win. Well, there you go, then it's a family affair, the Udders family. No, well. seriously, no, great, great talent. Both very, very experienced callers here in the main event. A five, one and a half minute round contest. Sorry, five, two minute round B class contest. Paul Crosley in the black and Darius in the white from Frankie Udders' gym. And taking the fight at such late notice, can Fair I see? Can Fair play, yeah. You can only applaud Darius for this, and sometimes it can work in the, the, the person's favour. The, the person who's had the fight has had the, the game plan of fighting a particular opponent. All of a sudden, there's a change. And nice that, kick, that game plan nice has changed. Sharp left kick from Crosley there. Paul Crossley, very good kicker. Left leg, especially. Yeah. Body weight very much on his back leg. Using that left leg as a as a whipping action. He's got his elbows turned out a little bit too much for me. Paul, Paul Crossley. A bit of a target for the body. Can't punch from there, can he? He's not punched up, Paul. He's more of a kicker. Finds a little bit too far away from each other for meaningful exchanges in round one. Good knee from Crosley. The body of Darius. It's interesting, isn't it, Kev? Watching the corners, watching the nerves. The nerves. The, the, the tactical information coming out of both corners for this fight will be very good. Ronnie knows his stuff and so does Frank, obviously. Yep. Well, and the 
first round, having a good look at each of the camp. Very interesting. Some decent exchanges. Both, both fans a bit too far away to sort of land anything of meaning yet. This five two minute round B class action between Darius in the white shorts and Frank Hewitt, his chairman in the black short, Paul Crosley from the Tiger King gym in Walton. Big left up for him, Crosley. Darius looks like he's got a decent shot there, boxing wise. Yeah, he's just trying to find the range to land it. I think Paul Crosley's. A bit too elusive for him at the moment. Kicking and moving, kicking and moving. He's trying to steal the fight away from Darius. You know what? You know what's really weird? It's funny watching Sarah in the corner. She's been brought up in Muay Thai. She's Frank is into his 14. And Frank is what now? 35? He probably knows more know, about yeah. Muay Thai brilliant. than most coaches exactly. in the country. Exactly. He brought up around it. Brilliant. Nice to watch, man. Seriously. Now, both fighters are trying to get in range now. Reddening on Darius' is inside, uh, inside of his left leg. Paul Crossley using that kicking from distance. Oh, nice, isn't he? Also, a judge ball, a very good uh, referee ball. Good shot there from Darius, causing Paul a bit of problems. Good left kick back from Paul Crossley. Straight to Paul. Tell you what, Vin, both boys are very agile, yeah, the big men. Very, very nice. Very, very agile. It's not, it's not often that you see big guys who can move as well. Darius's footwork is, is, is very good. Good kick there from the cut there on Darius. Kevin. Kick across there from Paul. Paul starts putting him in a bit now, isn't he? Putting more of the pressure on. Yeah, good work from Paul Crossley in round two. Gaining more success, continuing his good work with that left kick and then scoring a little bit more accurately to body working in round two. Well, there you go, the expert analysis of Tell you something, Kev. In my day, Ibayek, it wasn't like this. Getting treatment like stars here. 3D promotions, Dan Green, Daz Phillips, and Darren Morris doing absolutely awesome. Job. Let's be honest, though, Darren Morris. I mean, he could sell sand to the Arabs, couldn't he? I was talking to Dan Morris, Daz Morris, the other day, and I only wanted to talk to him about the show. And by the time I finished, I bought three paddling pools, bought three paddling pools, a greenhouse. And a, a, year supply, a year supply of uh, a year fertilizer. Su of fertilizer. I haven't even got a garden. The, man, the man's got the gift of the gap. Certainly has. Round three. Oh, this five, two minute round B class contest. Crossley in the black and Thaddeus in the white. Oh, Crossley trying to box a bit more round two. With his all versus Walton. Good kick going again the inside of that leg. I think he's starting to feel the pace now, Thaddeus. Yeah. Paul's, Paul's certainly looking. Oh, good shot there from Darius. Scores back. Paul Crosley's got his hands very low. Very, very low. For a B class fighter, he should be having his hands tucked in a little bit better. Good knee, though, from Paul. He's a left knee there. Hitting and moving, Crosley. Darius, the more aggressive in round three. 
from right hand from Crossley does well. Good scoring, that's that mix by. Crossley, but something's happened there. Foot out the ring, he slid across the table. Paul Crossley got backed up to the ropes by Darius and his foot went out of the ring and off the ring and he sort of like done, done, done the splits, ran his, ran his back leg all across the inside of the ring, or the outside of the ring. He's got a grimace on his face and he's coming back. Can Darius take advantage of this? Good leg, good right hand there, but oh! And with Paul slipping out the ring there, he might have thought that there was an opportunity for him to come back strongly. Great finish from Crossley. Yeah, very, very good shot indeed. Awesome. Awesome shot. Best shot of the evening so far. Well, let's see if ladies and gentlemen, please, you're 